Let me, let me try to set the context for this report briefly. As you realize, we're not talking here at, at this meeting about the impact of the climate crisis on food insecurity or on creating deeper and longer droughts or bigger floods or moving tropical diseases away uh, from the equator toward uh, the more temperate latitudes. We're not talking about the stronger ocean storms. We're not talking about the larger fires. We're not talking about a whole range of consequences, including the acidification of the oceans. We're just talking about melting ice. But I wanted to put it in that larger context. Ice is visible. And there's a big difference that one degree makes between ice and water. And that difference leads to a lot of other differences. High, surfaces that are highly reflective or surfaces that are highly absorptive. Concentrations of CO2 and methane that are locked in place and those that are released to the atmosphere. So melting ice is really important. Not least because the fact that it's visible makes it easier for these scientists to communicate to lay people like me about it. It's hard to capture the astonishment that the uh, experts in, sci in the science of ice felt when they saw this uh, minimum in 2005, which meant that uh, the amount of ice that had melted, it's been roughly the size of the continental United States minus an area roughly the size of Arizona, nothing against Arizona. But the amount that melted in 2005 was equivalent to an area covering everything east of the Mississippi River in the United States. Then, when the real shock to the scientists came was in 2007, when this happened, their phrase was, it fell off a cliff. Uh, and then the extra amount that melted was this much. Now, this, does, this covers the area of ice. It does not cover the volume of the ice, and Bob Carell referred to this. The U.S. Naval Postgraduate School has a team that integrates the U.S. Navy's nuclear submarines that go under the ice cap and satellite measurements that are calibrated to work with it. And based on that, they said actually 2008 had a smaller minimum, probably, than 2007. I want to again express my deep gratitude to the foreign minister for the honor of joining him in hosting the meeting in Tromsø and uh, ch chairing the process uh, by which this report uh, was produced and again express my gratitude to these outstanding scientists for the work that they did.